Breaking former FBI's director blasts James Comey, emperor with no clothes, it's perfect. James Calstrom, former director of the FBI, utterly eviscerated James Comey for the way he bent over for Obama and the Clinton Foundation and threw the FBI under the bus and destroyed their credibility. Calstrom was commenting on the Bible quote that James Comey quoted just mere minutes before the announcement came that Michael Flynn flipped and would testify against Trump and his family. The only problem is that by charging Flynn, Mueller destroyed the collusion myth. If Trump had colluded with Russia, he wouldn't have needed a back channel to Russia because he would have already had it. Comey's quote Either James Comey is a Bible scholar with advanced knowledge of obscure Bible verses or Mueller told him what was going down and Comey prepared a reply. Neither Mueller or Comey have the ethics God gave to a snake, so you shouldn't put anything past him. The first thing you need to know about this non-scandal is that every president has reached out to foreign leaders during the time before their election and their inauguration. It's only illegal if a president-elect would negotiate a treaty of some kind and none has come even after 16 months of investigations under Comey and Mueller. Obama even had a seal made declaring that there was such a thing as the office of the president-elect. The Logan Act clearly states that there can only be one president at the time, but even though Obama gave himself an entirely bogus designation, he committed no crime, possibly for the only time in his life. No one in their right mind would expect a president-elect not to reach out to allies and antagonists until they are already in the Oval Office. Hence, when Trump passed Flynn to make contact, it wasn't a crime but SOP, standard operating procedure. Kallstrom said. Anyone with a brain knows what he meant, James Kallstrom told Breitbart News. He thinks he was unjustly brought down, and now justice is going to prevail and show him as some sort of a martyr. Nothing could be further from the truth. He's a guy who either knows the Bible or thought it would be cool to give that response back, when he is the emperor with no clothes. He carried water for the Clinton Foundation and Obama administration, and demoralized the FBI, making a fool of himself in my view, he conducted himself in a way that was not in keeping with the rule of law, and here he is quoting the Bible. Hopefully, justice will roll down on him and his sycophants who threw the bureau under the bus. Mueller was no different than Comey in that respect. He covered up bribery in the Uranium One deal and not only that but he put a gag order, also known as a non-disclosure agreement on the FBI informant with intimate knowledge of bribes and other forms of gifts to those who helped Russia take possession of 20% of all uranium mined in the United States at the time of the takeover. The timing of the plea agreement between Mueller and Flynn at a time congressional investigators are looking into his conduct is awfully curious. From Breed Bart. Kallstrom noted Comey's lack of effective action on investigations involving Benghazi, Operation Fast, and Furious, and Hillary Clinton's email scandal as examples of the former director's failures in office that led to concerns that the director played favorites. The 27-year veteran of the FBI believes that Comey's social media post buttresses criticism that he politicized the FBI when he served as director. He just showed himself as the hypocrite that he is, Kallstrom offered. He lacks the common sense to realize he's digging his hole deeper. Comey started writing Hillary's exoneration paper at least by April before 17 key witnesses, including Hillary, underwent questioning by the FBI. It's not common practice outside the liberal elite world for someone to be cleared before the investigation was actually concluded. Comey claims to be a Republican but he is no more a Republican than John McCain and Jeff Flake are. Are.